What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So let's start this video with the latest physique update of William Bonac, which is about 4 weeks out of this year's Miss Olympia, hitting one of his strongest shots, the back double biceps. So William Bonac is as good as anyone, especially from the back, but his biggest weakness now, that is his narrow structure. And that is now evident even from both of his back shots as well. But that being said, he has one of the most detailed back double biceps in the men's open right now. So this is the shot that the judges gave to William Bonac over Baharus Tabani at this year's Dubai Pro, which was William Bonac's third contest this year. So Bonac had quite a good year so far. He won in Spain and he got two runner-up placings in Portugal as well as Dubai Pro. And he was able to beat a guy like Nathan Diesha in Dubai. So fingers crossed for the next competition, which is gonna be Miss Olympia, which might very well be his last Miss Olympia ever or even his last bodybuilding contest for that matter. So Stefan, his coach, he is working with plenty of guys at the highest level and not just in the men's open bodybuilding, in classic physique as well. And even then, he said he was shocked to see how quickly William's physique changed when they started the cut phase, when they started dieting for their first show together. And that was Emperor Plus Spain. So we always make these predictions, assuming that all the top 10 guys, they are gonna nail it 100%. When in reality, that rarely happens. In fact, we have seen it so many times that guys actually look a lot better in the Olympia qualifiers than they do on the Olympia stage. So if we base our predictions on that assumption that all the guys will bring their game, then I have to say William Bonac will most probably won't be in the top 10. But one thing is almost guaranteed, especially in regards to William Bonac, that he will be in shape, that his conditioning will be absolutely spot on for this year's Miss Olympia because he just never misses. The boys in UK have now checked in and we are now just one day out of the last Olympia qualifier for this year. And let's take a look at some updates. First of all from Patrick Moore. So once again, another screen grab. So based on this picture, you can see that Patrick has put on some solid size in the last one year. I mean, we can all see how nicely he has filled out those abductors. And not just in terms of size, he has good separation as well. So some of the most experienced coaches out there in the pro league right now, they say that most of these IFB pros they are just one long productive off-season away. One proper improvement season from making a real impression come stage time. So was this that off-season that Patrick Moore always needed? Was this that off-season that will put Patrick Moore back on the map? Well, just one more day and we will find out. Now we all know that Patrick has some great lines. Very classic, very aesthetic structure and he flows extremely well. And if only Patrick was able to put on size every year, especially since the time he made his Olympia debut, Back in 2019, he could have won a lot more shows and he could have been a lot higher up the ladder. But he just kept on competing, non-stop. Never really availed that opportunity to get bigger, to grow. And that is why he has been out of the Olympia for the last three years. Now, I believe he is gonna be miles ahead of the last time we saw him on the stage. Which, by the way, was Chicago Pro last year. Where he placed well below his own expectations. Fifth and behind so many guys. Because that was the show that Patrick should have won and maybe he could have if only he was in shape because the winner of that show, Justin Shire, he had a very glaring weakness in terms of a very weak overall back development. But that being said, the physique that we are about to witness in 24 hours, that is gonna be improved in terms of the overall size as well as the conditioning as well. Andrea Presti is entering this year's UK Pro as the hot favorite to win his fourth consecutive Miso Olympia qualification. So he also released a one day physique update. And that is exactly what you expect from a guy like Presti. I mean, we have seen this so many times that the man is always shredded and peeled out of his mind in every single show that he enters. Him and his coach have figured out the perfect formula to always dial it in to peak 100% for any show that he enters. And also we have to keep in mind, Presti changes a lot from one day out to stage time, especially in terms of the overall pop and fullness that he brings. And maybe that is because of their carbs loading protocol. I mean, we just saw it this past weekend at Italy Pro against Hunter Lebrada. Presti was so damn full that him standing next to a guy like Hunter Lebrada, who is so much thicker and denser than him, that made Hunter look all flat, especially in his chest area. So Presti had that 3D looking chest, great arms, and he has those very wide shoulders. And that is why he looks so damn wide on the stage. And that is why he takes up so much space. I mean, this guy has one of the best upper half in the business. So what we saw from Presti in Italy 
That was arguably the best balance that Presti ever had in his upper and lower half. Now you can't pick him apart, and his quads are still behind in comparison to his huge upper body. But if we compare his legs from his first ever Miss Olympia back in 2021 versus this current physique that we just saw last weekend, I have to say his legs have definitely filled out. So I think Presti versus Patrick, that is gonna be a great comparison. I mean, both these guys have great aesthetics, and both are multiple times Olympians. So Presti versus Patrick, who have you got winning? Next up is the current physique update of Victor Martinez, the uncrowned Miss Olympia of 2007. So Victor Martinez has one of the best genetics in bodybuilding. I mean, this is him at the age of 51. And just take a look at how round he still is. How crazy are his arms? Now Victor Martinez still loves to train every day. And he still follows that bodybuilding lifestyle. Now, I believe there is a mutual consensus on this one. That Victor Martinez was clearly robbed back in 2007. And even the guy who won that year, Jake Hadler, even he now admits that the decision could have gone either way. And Victor was kinda unlucky next year because he got injured and he had to sit out of the Olympia that year. And that was the same year when Jake Hadler came in even off and he was beaten by Dexter Jackson. And maybe if Victor was competing in 2008, the history could have been different. So Victor Martinez in 2007, that was probably one of the best bodybuilding peaks of the last two decades or so. He had such a great combination of everything. Size, conditioning, fullness, everything was there. But Victor was never able to replicate that same look ever during his career. So Victor has been retired since 2020. I believe the Arnold 2020, that was his last show. So we have a list of controversial calls being made, especially at the Olympia stage over the years. I'm sure you guys can relate to 97 Miss Olympia, when Dorian Yates won instead of Nasir Al-Sambate. But this one in 2007, I don't think anyone out there disagrees that Victor should have won that show. Next up is the two weeks old physique update from Brad Wilkin. And I'm gonna say damn, look at those chest rations in that front last breath. So those rations in that specific shot, they are a trademark of Andrew Jacked. So looking at Brad Wilkin with this type of conditioning at two weeks out, there is no doubt that he is gonna be shredded and absolutely peeled out of his mind. And I'm sure his camp already knows that all he needs is a bit more outer quad sweep on his quads. And then his V taper is gonna get so much better. And he is gonna become so much more dangerous. But that being said, at this level, it is about genetics as well. So we can all agree that this is the best Brett has ever looked. His back density is also looking absolutely nuts. And I have to say props to him. Because those digestion problems, they can sometimes be the beginning of the end of a professional men's open bodybuilder. Because of the amount of food these guys need to eat in order to maintain that muscle mass. And Brett is one of those guys who eats a lot of food during the offseason and also in the prep. So I am glad that Brett was able to address those issues. And he looks in the best shape of his life right now with two more weeks to go. So if he wins the Legion Sports, that will set him up pretty nicely for 225. A chance to go through another full off season and make a real statement at his Olympia debut in 2025. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.